Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to overclock your monitor if you have a laptop. So this will increase the refresh rate of your laptop screen. This is mainly for people with Intel CPUs and dedicated graphics cards. If you don't have an Intel CPU, then I don't know how to do this with AMD CPUs. So the first thing you want to do is go to Google and search in CRU Intel Optimus. Once you've done that, you want to click the first link in the Google search results. There will be a link in the description if you don't want to search it yourself. Once you're on this page, you want to find out what model your CPU is. So to find out, to do this, go to start and type in system information in the start bar. This window should show up and it will tell you all the information about your system. So as you can see here, mine's is a i5-6300HQ. So once you've found that out, you want to open a new tab and Google search your processor name. So mine's is i5-6300HQ. When I search that up, click the first link. And as you can see, this is the specifications of the i5. Uh, mine says Skylake, which is the code name. You need to find the code name for your CPU. And mine's is called Skylake. Once you found the code name of your CPU, you want to go back to the first link and click the link corresponding to the code name of your CPU. The beta driver doesn't work, the link doesn't work, so I'm going to click the normal graphics driver for Windows. You want to make sure you click the right one so you don't have the wrong drivers. So as you can see, I clicked the second link because the beta link doesn't work. And as you can see on the left hand side, there is the available download. So you want to choose which operating system you have. I have a Windows 10 64 bit, but it would work if you choose any of the 64 bit options over there. So I'm going to choose the Windows 8.1 64 bit because that's the latest version and it's an installer if you have 64-bit operating system choose the 64-bit one and if you have a 32-bit operating system choose a 32-bit one and you want to make sure it's an exe file so that you can run it and install it once you do it click it and click save and then it will download once you've downloaded it you want to run and install it it will ask for user account control and you just have to click yes once you've done that just start the process of installing the drivers uh, it might take a while but once you've done that it will start the setup and just click next and it will install your graphics driver this might take a while and it might ask for user account control just click yes if it comes up after it's installed it will ask you to restart your computer you want to click yes i want to restart my computer now and then click finish after your computer has restarted you want to download custom resolution utility click the first link in the google search i will also put this in the description after you've opened the page click the cru 1.4 .zip or the latest version that's there and download the file once you've done that you want to extract it to its own folder so i'm going to extract it and i already have it here custom resolution utility and as you can see here's all the files once you have that extracted you want to run custom resolution utility and add your resolution and your refresh rate this uh takes quite a few bits of trial and error so you you should increase it by one hertz and put it on lcd reduced to have a higher chance of it succeeding so you want to just increase it at one hertz at a time just to make sure everything is stable then you want to click restart 64 to restart the graphics drivers once you've restarted the graphics drivers your screen will flash and your custom resolution should show up in your display settings if you want to change the refresh rate you have to click advanced display settings then click display adapter properties and then it would come up in this drop down menu if it doesn't come up, you have to restart your whole laptop after you've added the custom resolution with the new refresh rate. Once you've restarted your laptop, it should come up and you should be able to change it to your new refresh rate. And as you can see, click apply and it would apply to your refresh rate. And it says keep changes or revert, but on my laptop screen, it was glitching out and it had some artifacts. So I do not want to keep it at 66 hertz. But I went back down to 65 hertz and it looked fine and everything was working all right. So I'm going to leave it on 65 hertz and obviously that's not much of an increase but this varies between laptops. Yeah it worked for me and now my screen refresh rate is 65 hertz. You might have to do a bit of experimenting to find out what the best refresh rate and resolution is for your laptop but as you can see I've found 65 hertz and that's what I'm going to stick with. That's the end of the video please leave a like if this helped you and also share this with others that need help with this comment down below saying this helped you if you have any questions just leave them down in the comment section so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video goodbye